Hey there, so this is Hype Fury. This is the tweet scheduler app that I use to, of course, schedule my tweets. And it's really, really simple to get started. All you have to do is click on the Start Growing My Audience Today button. Let's click it. And once you're there, all you have to do is sign in with Twitter. That's all you have to do. Make sure that you are signed up to Twitter, then click that button, and Hype Fury will create your seven day free trial account automatically. Great. This is the user interface. In the left side, you have the queue, the mentions, evergreen posts, draft, and whatnot. Here on this side, you'll have some posts to inspire you to write new posts if you ever run into writer's block. So what High Fury does, it takes some of your best performing posts and shows it to you so you can find inspiration in your own ideas. And below it, you'll find the queue. In this section of High Fury, you have the button to add tweets to your queue, and of course, all of the tweets that you have queued up. Now, before proceeding to schedule our first tweet, we need to configure our account settings. And all we have to do is click on the account options in the left navigation bar, and then click on the settings options. And once you're there, you scroll down until you find your posting schedule. Cool. Once you're there, Hype Fury will give you around five default ones. I highly encourage you to delete those and add my own schedule. I'm at the Dominican Republic at this moment, so I have a minus four time zone, which is basically similar to New York, okay? That said, if you don't want to copy my schedule, you can always click here and decide when you want to add the posting time. So what I encourage you to do is click the everyday option, then decide on the time that you want to post your tweets, and then click on the add new posting time. Let's select something at, let's say 1 a.m., okay? 1, 30 a.m. Then I click on the add new posting time and you'll see that it will add the posting time right over here. And if you're wondering how to delete these new posting times or the old ones, all you have to do is put your, your mouse on top of it, click it, and it will delete the posting time automatically. Great. Now let's add our first tweet to our queue. Let's click on the queue option and let's click on this button that we see over here. And then we write the tweet. Let's write, I love Hype Fury. And once I'm done writing the tweet, I can add it to the queue, or before doing so, we can configure Hype Fury to do some, let's say, automatic work on our behalf. So let's go over some of the options that Hype Fury offer us. If you're a paying subscriber of Hype Fury, you can post it directly into Instagram just by clicking on this option over here. And by doing so, you're telling Hype Fury to turn the tweet into an image and then post it directly into Instagram. On this option, you can click it and it will automatically retweet the tweet a couple of hours later. If you click on this button, you can add a follow-up tweet, which is basically this. Once you click the advanced setting, you can add an automatic follow-up tweet. And this tweet will be posted when the delay condition is met. In this case, 20 retweets, or let's say 10 likes if I write it down in that input. So that way, let's say that you have a tweet that's going viral or it's getting more likes or retweets than often. Well, it will add a follow-up tweet with the message that you want, okay? Another thing you could do is post with a quote shot, which will basically turn this into an image, or you can actually type in the quote inside this text box, okay? Finally, Hype Fury lets you share the tweet both in LinkedIn and Facebook. That said, you need to configure this in your account settings so that Hype Fury knows to which Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook account to post your tweet on. Anywho, once you're done composing the tweet, proceed to click the Add to Queue button, and you will add the tweet to the queue. And that's basically all you have to do. Let's close this, and let's find a tweet down below because I have already many tweets scheduled. There it is. That said, if you want to delete it, you can click on this option and it will delete it. If you want to post it right now, you can click on this option and it will actually post the tweet as soon as you click that button. If you want to edit the post, you can click this option and you can change the post to whatever you want. Then you click the update button and that's basically it. So go ahead, open your free seven day trial Hype Fury account because man, this will help you save a lot of time and headaches. It will help you sell more of your courses, more of your information products, and basically automate most of the boring parts of Twitter. And more importantly, it will help you stay away from the timeline, which is so, so addicting, which I believe is one of the untold benefits of using Hype Fury. You will spend more time creating and less time scrolling down.